All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate you joining me here today. Uh, certainly good to talk to you once again here on this beautiful Sunday morning. Now, we do have a, a pretty good slate of college basketball action, and like I have been telling you this week, uh, Xfinity has done updates with their uh, their app, so there's a good amount of games that are not on our big screen in the back, so you're just going to have to uh, grab a pen or listen up and uh, bear with me, or just skip ahead to the uh, quick pick recap at the end of the show, which uh, everybody does. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into it, beginning with NC State taking on UNC Greensboro, and that's going to be a 3 o'clock Eastern tip-off this afternoon. Uh, NC State, the Wolfpack, they're just minus two and a half on the road here. Totals at 137. Now, we did see a half a point move toward the Wolfpack and movement upward on the total. But once again, NC State opened the betting as the two-point favorite. That's it. Up to minus two and a half. Total of 136, up to 137. 67% of the consensus are leaning toward NC State. 57% shaded toward the over. And right now, UNC Greensboro, plus 115 at home on the money line. Now, UNC Greensboro, they failed to cover in three out of their last five games, uh, throwing out that last game against Radford, of course. They're shooting just 59% from the stripe, and they failed to cover in three out of their six games at home this year. Now, the Wolfpack on the other side, winners in seven out of their last eight. They're also 3-1 and one against the spread in their last four. NC State ranks at the top 20 in scoring on average per game in the country. They're also, uh, also shooting 47% from the field. C.J. Bryce is averaging 16 points a game, 3 assists, and 2 steals. Jericho Helms, 12 points a game, 4 rebounds. And Markel Johnson, 12 points a game, 6 assists for NC State. Now, two out of the Wolfpack's last four did stay under the number. Meanwhile, Greensboro, 7-2 to the under overall for the year themselves. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it down, and lean toward NC State minus two in the under 137 in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be Oklahoma State taking on Houston. Three o'clock Eastern tip-off at Houston. The Cougars are the seven-point favorite total at 142. We did see a two-point move toward Houston and a three-point move upward on the total. The Cougars open as the five-point favorite, up to minus seven. Total open 139, up to 142. 51% are leaning Houston, 79% shaded toward the over. And right now, Oklahoma State is plus 260 on the money line. Now, the uh, Cowboys have failed to cover in four out of their last six. Uh, they're shooting just 42% from the field. And Oklahoma State has failed to cover against the likes of Georgetown, Western Michigan, and Yale. Houston on the other side. 4-1 and one straight up at home. 4-0 and oh straight up in their last four any location. They rank in the top 30 in scoring on average per game in the country. They also rank in the top 10 in offensive rebounding. Quentin Grimes, 17 points on average per game, 3 assists. Nate Hinton, uh, 14 points a game, 9 rebounds for him. And Fabian White, 11 points a game, 6 rebounds for the Cougs. Houston's 5-3 and three to the over for this season. 3-2 and two to the over at home. Uh, Oklahoma State, three out of their last four, got over the total themselves. I'm going to lean toward Houston, minus seven, and the over 142 in that matchup. Next game, it is going to be Purdue taking on Nebraska, four o'clock Eastern tip-off in that matchup. Purdue's the 12.5 point favorite on the road, total 135.5. We saw a 1.5 point move toward Purdue and movement upward on the total. The Boilermakers open as the 11-point favorite, up to minus 12 and a half. Total open 134, up to 135 and a hook. 64% of the consensus are leaning toward Purdue. 91% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Cornhuskers are plus 600 on the money line. And Nebraska's dropped four out of their last five games. They're also just four and six straight up overall for the year. They're giving up 79 points per contest on average. Now, Purdue winners in five out of their last six. They also went 5-1 and one against the spread in those six games. Uh, very, very tough to score against this Purdue squad. They're giving up just 54 points per contest. Their opponents are shooting just 37% from the field, and they rank in the top 20 in defensive rebounding. Jihad Proctor is averaging 14 points a game, three rebounds for Purdue. And Matt Harms, 12 points a game, six rebounds, and two blocks. Total-wise, we're looking at a Nebraska team who's 8-1 and one to the over. In their last nine, uh, I think that pretty much bodes well for Purdue backers. I'm going to lean Purdue minus 12 and a half 
in the over 135 and a half in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the show. I got some lines and personal leans out for Sunday's college basketball action. But before we dive into some more of that, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we do daily premium picks on that site beginning at just $1.99 per month. Now we have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. Uh, One of our packages is called the Daily Double, and we are currently hitting at 61% in that package in our last 101 plays. That is a very large sample size doing very well in that particular uh, stat. We're also hitting at 61% in our last 28 board member package plays on that site as well. And I know what you're probably thinking, like, dude, you just gave me like six free picks already and it didn't cost me anything. Well, at the end of the show, I'm going to tell you the difference between what I do here on YouTube and that Patreon page. You can check out my current Patreon record for free right now. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. It's right on the homepage. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. But most importantly, guys, we're going to dive into some more free lines of personal leans. Back here on YouTube, all starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we got a game on the board here, guys. I'm talking about Wofford taking on UNC. And that's going to be a 4 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that game. The Tar Heels are the 15-point favorite, total at 143. We saw a half a point move toward North Carolina and movement upward on the total. UNC open 14 and a half, up to minus 15. Total open 140, up to 143. 68% are leaning UNC, 52% shaded toward the under. Right now, Wofford is plus 1050 on the money line. Wofford's also failed to cover in five out of their last seven games. They failed to cover against the likes of Gardner Webb, USF, and William and Mary this year. UNC on the other side, three and one straight up uh, at home. They rank the top three in offensive rebounding, and they're giving up just 65 points per contest. Now, uh, UNC's opponents are shooting just 37% from the field as well. So really, the story with this UNC team is defense. Uh, But when it comes to the stat column, they do have some scores. Cole Anthony's averaging 19 points a game, six rebounds, four assists, and two steals. Garrison Brooks, 12 points a game, eight rebounds for him. Eight out of UNC's last nine stayed under the number. They're also 4-0 to the under at home. Now, Wofford on the other side, 3-2 to the under in their last five. They're also 3-1 to the under when traveling. I'm going to lean UNC minus 15 and the under 143 in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be South Carolina taking on Clemson. 5 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that contest. The Tigers are the six-point favorite total at 137. We saw a half a point move toward Clemson and movement upward on the total. The Tigers open as the five and a half point favorite up to minus six. Total open 136 up to 137. 56% of the consensus are leaning toward Clemson. 82% shaded toward the under. And right now the Gamecocks are plus 225 on the money line. South Carolina's dropped three out of their last five games. They also failed to cover against the likes of George Washington, Gardner Webb, and Boston University this year. Uh, They are shooting just 27% from downtown. Now, Clemson on the other side, they've successfully covered the number in six out of their last eight. They're also 4-1 against the spread at home. They're allowing just 64 points per contest. Now, five out of Clemson's last seven games got over the number. They're also 60% to the over at home. Now, South Carolina, 6-2 to the over in their last eight themselves. I'm going to lean Clemson minus six in the over 137 in that contest. Next game, we actually have that one on the board. It is going to be Ohio State taking on Minnesota. 6.30 Eastern tip-off in Minnesota. The Buckeyes are the eight-point favorite, total at 129.5. We actually saw a half a point fade of Ohio State and movement downward on the total. The Buckeyes open 8.5, down to minus 8. Total open 130, down to 129.5. 69% are leaning Buckeyes, 81% shaded toward the over. Right now, Minnesota's plus $3 on the money line. Uh, Minnesota's also lost 5 out of their last 8 games. Ohio State, 9-0 straight up overall for the year. 8-1 against the spread. They're averaging 81 points per contest. They're also shooting 49.3% from the field. Um, They rank... In the top 10 in points allowed, uh, they're giving up just 54 points per contest. 
They also rank in the top three in defensive field goal percentage. Now, uh, total-wise, we're looking at an Ohio State team who is 6-3 to the under for the year. Meanwhile, seven out of Minnesota's last nine stayed under the total themselves. I'm going to lean toward the road chalk in this one. Give me the Buckeyes minus eight and the under 129.5 in that game. And I'm going to slide into my next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Samford, not Stanford, Samford with an M, Samford, taking on Hawaii, 8.30 Eastern tip-off in Hawaii. The Warriors are minus seven, total wet 144. We saw a one and a half point move toward Hawaii and movement downward on the total. The Warriors open five and a half up to minus seven. Total open 146 down to 144. 82% are leaning Hawaii, 80% shaded toward the over. Right now, Samford is plus 260 on the money line. Uh, a lot of travel, uh, tough to win in Hawaii. Uh, a lot of uh, play, not a whole lot of work. I like Hawaii in this spot here. Give me Hawaii minus seven and the over 144 in that game. And of course, I'm going to slide in my quick pick recap. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page where we are hitting at 61% our last 101 daily double package plays. That package is just $2.99 per month. All right, I'm going to lean Hawaii minus 7 over 144. Ohio State minus 8 under 129.5. Clemson minus 6 over 137. UNC minus 15 under 143. Purdue minus 12.5 over 135 and a hook. Houston minus 7 over 142. And last but certainly not least, I like NC State minus two and the under 137 in that game. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to IREC, Mark Hall, Lane Eternal Master, San Fran Mission, Bucket Bro, Kiwi and Two, Dave Marino, Overton Span, PMC05, Christopher Prophet. Shout out to Leo. Shout out to Nick Soto. J2 Young, Get a King, Jerry David, Ninji Chris, and last but certainly not least, got to give a, a shout out to YC My Kep. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we are currently hitting at 61% in our last 101 daily double package plays. We're also hitting at 61% our last 28 board member package plays on that site. Now, we do daily premium picks on that site beginning at just $1.99 per month. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. And I know what you're probably thinking. Dude, you just handicapped an entire slate of college basketball games for free. Why would I pay for your picks? You just gave it to me for free, you dummy. Well, that's a great thought. But what we do here on YouTube is we do handicap every single game on the board, side and total. We don't take a free pass. We don't say dog or pass or, oh, this is a stay-away game. There's a lot of stay-away games out there, guys. But we don't do that here on YouTube because we're providing an opinion on every single game. We're providing content here. But here's the deal. If you were to bet every single game on the board, side and total, with your hard-earned money, it's a losing formula. It is not a winning formula for success. You are guaranteed to lose in the long run. And as a matter of fact, you're probably going to end up losing in the short run, betting every single game side in total because you're not going to have enough money to uh, be able to withstand the losses. The books, they have way too much money. They can withstand the swings. The math is always against you. Plus, they're too sharp and they're too smart. You just can't beat them. So what we do on Patreon, we really narrow it down and dial it in and focus in on three to four premium selections per day. They're high percentage selections games that I personally have action on. And I'll tell you this much, my current record on Patreon is a whole lot better than it is handicapping uh, every single game on the board here on YouTube, throwing darts, kind of picking games with my eyes closed. I'll tell you that. So you can check out my current record for free right now. All you have to do is just click the link in the description section below. My current record's right on the homepage. And once again, that is patreon.com slash rock page. But most importantly, guys, I do have to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. And I do hope you enjoyed all this great free content and all this great free information. Happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I really do look forward to seeing you on patreon.com slash Brock page.